from the student perspective, this is what they would see as they are completing their CAMI assignment. They will go to the class with the assignment, classwork, find the homework, and you can see that they have their two documents. When I was setting this up, I had checkmarked the box to give them directions. So if it's their first time, you may want them to have directions. I would also suggest you do it as a class the first time, so that way they can get through all the prompts that are tying their Google class, their Google Classroom and their Google account to Cami. Just a lot of buttons that you have to click. And still just want to make sure everybody's clicking on the right thing. So I will choose one of my assignments. You can see it's as a PDF form, but when I go to open with, I'm going to annotate with Cami. So when I do that, it stays in PDF form and it still looks nice and pretty. It didn't mess up the format. And now I can add to my assignment and complete it. You have a very big toolbar on the left side. You can mark up. You also have a pen for drawing. So if there's an assignment where you need to circle, underline, cross out, you have tools like that. You also have a text box tool. So if I just need to fill in the blanks, I can use that tool. I don't need to put my name on this paper because it has it at the top. I'm My practice student is called Rise Display. So I don't have to fill in that part, but I can fill in the bottom part. So I will click on the T for text box. You can change your font size. And we will see, you can also change your font, bold, italics, a whole bunch of ideas over here. So you click on the line, enter your words, and that is how you complete your assignment with Cami. So I just clicked again to make that box go away. So I'm gonna click on the next line. It does take a little bit of playing because if I put my cursor where I think on the line is, it puts the box down a little too low. But you can change that if you have the four arrows, you can resize and move your options around. So the student just keeps clicking and completing their assignment. You can see on the top right, when they finish, there is a button to turn it in. And that's what you would do if you were completely done with your assignment. However, since on this assignment, I had two PDFs, if I do that, it will not give me access to the other one. So either assign one at a time, or make sure that students know to complete all the work first. So I will open with Kimmy. I need to complete my work on my second page, before, go to my text box before I submit my work. So if I was done with my page and I had finished my second page, now I can click the turn it in button and it will just double check. If it was the student's first time turning it in, they would get some pop-ups just trying to connect to their Google account, allowing permissions to join with Google Classroom. I'd already gone through those prompts earlier, so I didn't get them this time. But the very first time they submit, they will get some pop-ups trying to uh, sync it to their Google Classroom or their Google account. So you will probably want to do that in class together just so they know what to click on and what is okay. I could unsubmit my work if I realize, oh, dang it, I need to do my other work, my other page. Otherwise, it is done. So I can close those and I can close that. And it says on my assignment, turned in. So that is how a student can turn in a Cami assignment.